one. So there was a piece of a nice wall <laughs> that uh, has a, had the graffiti that was here for a long time. Um, so we thought that it had its expiry date. And I think that the people from around here, they, they agreed. So uh, yeah, so we, we decided to, to come up with the idea what to do with it now. And yeah, we were researching a lot of different stuff. Like mostly in the beginning, we were looking at the things in relation to the town. Um, and in, uh, in relation to that, I think that did not came about because we were thinking of, uh, first we were thinking of uh, fishing and we were, fishing, uh, we were thinking of a fishing knot, but then it just kind of was like more like an inspiration and we took it from, from there. It's in Icelandic, for those who speak Icelandic, they understand. But for those who don't, it means, uh, did you forget anything? Um, and I think that, well, the, the relation between the image and the, the writing is that in, in some of the countries, in order to remember something, you might cannot. So it was like a yeah, relation between it, but it's not exactly what it means. Um, yeah, for me, it's uh, like a reference to remembering about the things that are important for us. And um, in every, like they are all different for everyone. And I think that sometimes we forget, I don't know, we forget to, I don't know, to be present or we forget about what is important for us or the relationships, the way we engage with other people. Um, a lot of things like what we remember is part of us. So, and sometimes I think that we might forget and uh, and I think that it's kind of interesting because in the beginning it was about the history and everyone remembers his about the history because the herring is all over the town. So I think that like everyone remembers that, but it's a more like an open question to inspire people to think what is that maybe they forget, forgot about. Yeah, I think the Nikolaya is a bit... Uh... Yeah, it's probably kind of similar, but if you look at the expression of the piece, at least for me, it's like a page you tore out of an instruction book. So you got to a certain point where you've been tying a knot and then it asks you in the instruction, are you forgetting something? And it referenced, yeah, back to the old industry here that has been very heavily technology driven. So for me, it's a, like a nice reminder for like, are you, are you forgetting like how to, to use the technology or what the technology can do or will the technology uh, I don't know like out uh, like what is it called like, will it take your work will the, will the technology take the work from you or yeah so just a nice reminder about using the hands you said about using the hands no? yeah I said yeah and also about using like your own hands because the technology yeah. we make today is getting more and more complex so we just we, every time a piece of technology breaks, we just buy a new one and throw the other piece out because we can't fix it anymore because it has become so complex. So maybe make things a little less complex. Mm. Yeah, and also I just remember there was uh, a someone who was passing by, who lives here uh, during the summer or has a summer house, and he. He didn't realize that there was a graffiti before mm. the, the white wall and uh, I thought that it was very interesting because like you know, we sometimes forget what surrounds us like if you are in this kind of autopilot and we're not very present and he totally didn't know that there was something before so I thought that it was really interesting <laughs> that the message is now like oh did you forget because maybe for example maybe they forgot that there was something before because you just kind of stop noticing things after after a while if, if you see it very often and i think that yeah this is important for me as well because it like applies to a different things not only to how we engage with uh, location and spaces but also uh, people, habits, uh, our, I don't know, our dreams, everything. Yeah, how fast so, you forget yeah. what was here before. So, uh, so that was uh, important, mm. yeah.
and also uh, yeah, because uh, Ben and Omar they are not with us but Ben was uh, helping us to finish it up and Omar was helping us to design it so so yeah, they're not here they work in finishing other projects but we are a part of a team and uh, Sophie she helped us with yeah, typography a lot of, a lot of so it's not out. just two of us so just wanted to say it and say thank you to <laughs> the rest of the team yeah, yeah.